Now get started. The government has today announced that junior secondary learners in public schools will each receive a 15,000 shilling capitation fee. Education Cabinet Secretary Ezekiel Machogu has further said that junior secondary learners will have a distinct school uniform with boards of management in respective schools required to come up with required uniform. Of 1,000, 1 million. 253,577 learners sat their 2022 Kibusea in 32,555 centers across the country. I wish to announce that all these runners will transit to junior secondary school. Given that this is the first time such reports will be available for schools, I direct the Kenya National Examination Council to cooperate with the Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development and the Teacher Service Commission to assist the schools to properly interpret the reports for runners and the parents. I also direct the council to hold the joint discussions with the KICD and the TSC on the national KIPSEA reports with a view to providing feedback on the CPC curriculum that can inform ongoing curriculum reviews. Junior secondary school. At the junior secondary school level, all the necessary arrangements have been put in place to ensure that all runners join grade seven. The measures put in place include the following. It's excellent that the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samai Ruto, has directed that the National Treasury set, set aside 15,000 per anna as capitation to facilitate free running in all our public schools. In total, the government will spend Kenya Shillings 9.6 billion for the runners in a junior secondary school this current year. It therefore means that no school to judge any fees for grade seven runners unless such schools are reporting wings. I want to repeat, as you are aware, the amount that the government has been giving for secondary schools in the form of capitation is 22,244. And for primary, the amount of capitation that the government has been giving is 1,000. 420. So, because junior secondary, that is from grade 7, 8, and 9, is actually secondary, we have worked on a figure, and His Excellent the President did accept and agree with that figure that the amount which will be given per student is 15,000, almost equal to what is given to senior secondary because senior secondary uh, they will continue getting the amount they are getting which is 22,244 prohib prohibition of public school from charging an admission fee for any grade 7 learner due to their 100% transition policy in the same school where the runners were enrolled in grade 6 and this one will repeat that there will be no school fees payable in any of our public schools because you know that this is the constitutional requirement that the basic education, uh, primary to secondary, is compulsory and free. Right, and on the Form 1 Selection Education Cabinet Secretary Ezekiel Machogu has called on school heads and parents to closely and fully participate in the selection of schools so as to ensure that children get well guided while choosing their preferred schools. This after it emerged that over 2,000 KCPE candidates did not select any schools for their Form 1 selection. Meanwhile, Kabianga School, Nanyuki High, Pangani Girls and Alliance Girls are among the 
schools that were most selected beyond their capacity to get more updates on the form one selection especially how many learners have received their selection results let's now cross over to our city studios where a reporter shadrach Mitty is good afternoon to you shadrach it's great to speak to you again please just break it down for us especially on how many learners received their results and are some of the reasons that led to others not receiving except that they did not take part in the selection well purity today again we are witnessing a totally different approach in terms of uh, form one placement and selection remember previously such a day has always been characterized by uh, an event where the cabinet secretary will always uh, give uh, an admission letter to the leading candidate. We remember like last year, we had the top three candidates or the top five candidates receiving letters to their uh, selected uh, schools. But today, and, uh, 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 unlike what has always been happening, the cabinet secretary only read out what happened during selection and gave a breakdown on, on, on the number of candidates and how they were placed. But there was not any indication that the, this candidate or that candidate would be placed in this school. Instead, the cabinet sector left that to parents, guardians, and even teachers themselves to find out by themselves where the top candidates or each candidate has been placed, which is a completely uh, a total deviation from what has always been happening. And so on the issue for, of where every candidate or, we, or where the top candidate has been placed has been left on our own to try and find out and just to figure out and see where that happened. But then it would then emerge, uh, it followed that uh, just like what has been happening, perhaps you can say in, in three years running, schools such as Pangani Girls, Kabianga School, Nanyuki High, uh, Alliance High School and so many others, we uh, have again showed that uh, they are highly preferred by candidates during selection process, that uh, most of them, like Kabianga School, which has a capacity to hold just about 700 uh, Form 1 uh, learners, it received more than 100,000 application of students wanting to, to join there. And again, we had uh, 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 Pangani Girls again, which had an extremely high number of application against the limited space that was there. Remember, countrywide, we have just about uh, uh, 106 uh, national schools majority of whom uh, uh, attracted a high number of candidates wanting to join them. But again, as the CS said, and what has always been happening, the spaces were very limited, but the applications were uh, very many. And again, we can allude that to the fact that uh, majority of the learners, while selecting those schools, they are either informed by their parents, or it is just an idea of trying to understand uh, the prestige that is attached to a particular school and so but again uh, as the cs himself uh, uh, explained perhaps largely much of the attention or much of the attraction is a consequence of the uh, performance that are always uh, attached to, to those what you may call popular schools but again uh, purity what I, uh, has emerged in these uh, years uh, from one placement results is that uh, about 14 counties that were randomly picked by the CS were found to have had a higher number of candidates transiting to, uh, to high school, uh, while the high schools or secondary schools in those specific counties are very limited spaces, uh, leading by Nairobi, uh, whose number of uh, candidates uh, qualifying from primary joining secondary school were highly, highly uh, in large numbers than the secondary schools are that are available and so what the country or what the government has done to that has decided to place those or to do what we call inter-county transfers or inter-county uh, placement so that a child who a child a child in Nairobi, a child in nairobi uh, may just be uh, placed in a school uh, in the nearby 
uh, Kiambu County, just to ensure that they are balancing the spaces that are available. Because while in Nairobi we have few uh, secondary schools against a huge number of uh, uh, primary schools transiting to uh, secondary school, a, near, a, a neighboring county like Kiambu has more secondary schools and perhaps with uh, a fewer number of uh, learners joining uh, secondary school. And so those are some of the intrigues and the issues that emerged while uh, we had the results for the Form 1 placement this year. But to get the details, let's listen in to what the CS had to speak about so many other issues about uh, Form 1 selection and placement. This means that parents and the guardians and the school managers must facilitate smooth admission of all children to secondary schools to secondary schools. As I promised during the release of the KCPE examination research, the results of Kenya Primary School Education Assessment were to be released this month. I am happy to announce that the exercise of marking has now been completed and that schools will be able to access the KPSEA reports through the Kenya National Examinations Council portal for portal from tomorrow, Tuesday, the 17th, January 2023. A total of 1,253,577 learners sat their 2022 Kibusea in 32,555 centers across the country. I wish to announce that all these runners will transit to junior 